So Nahal, as a follow-up question, we talked about in the previous question about future of work and, and AI. And I can see that you have here future of work. So can you talk about what's going to happen in the future and how AI is going to take over, but at the same time want to keep the culture and employee engagement. So what can, what's going to happen there and how can job seekers be prepared for the future? So I think um, everyone talks about the future of work and then within seconds AI is also incorporated. AI and technology is going to automate a great deal of jobs, which means that those jobs will disappear. Um, however, that doesn't mean that unemployment rates are going to go skyrocketing high. What new jobs are coming uh, is where we need to focus our energy. And so one of the uh, biggest uh, achievements that HR or contributions mm -hmm. that HR can make to an organization is to come up with a list of jobs that are getting created mm -hmm. um, as rapidly as AI is taking over certain or automation or technology is taking over some of the jobs and then start to identify what are the specific uh, behaviors, skill sets yeah. and competencies for those roles and then start to uh, look for individuals within the organization whose job might be changing as a result of technology and uh, starting development plans for them mm -hmm. to start to occupy this space. Um, the biggest disservice right now is that we're not getting ahead of what new jobs are getting yeah. created and not We're not preparing. catching up. Yeah. We keep talking about how customers are changing and how products and services are changing. Uh, but we're not that open and transparent to people around how their jobs are going to mm. change. Those and why days, is that in your opinion? Why companies are not ready to do that? And topic? again, I think it's because HR's focus is on the traditional portfolio mm. of the employee life cycle. And so there is a whole space that's opened up around understanding the architecture of the organization in the context of what jobs are coming mm. down the line. Uh, that's left untapped and it shouldn't really be sitting on the CEO's accountability, it should be within HR. So we need to start really looking at our portfolio and, and again examining it in the light of relevancy. Mm -hmm. Are we still relevant uh, as a strategic uh, partner mm -hmm. if we're focusing on the employee life cycle or should we be more uh, in tune with what's happening in the marketplace and yeah. how to prepare the organization for that? And as you mentioned, HR should be a strategic partner and have a voice under the table talking about all those things that you've mentioned. Yeah. Again, thank you for uh, putting some light on that conversation. Yeah. I mean, HR traditionally has been just doing redundancies mm -hmm. as a result of trying to hit uh, potential um, metrics, financial metrics, or simplifying the organization's uh, infrastructure. Um, but the redundancies that are happening more and more in organizations that are making a profit are happening because the job's no longer relevant. Yeah. So how do we get ahead of this so that people start to disrupt their own jobs, find out where they need to go to find new skills? Um, that, that would be great to yeah. see more and more HR yeah. people. More communication and more yeah. open communication with the senior leaders will be great in that field. Again, thank you for sharing that and answering the question. And for the audience, uh, please, uh, if you have any comment, leave it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Nahal.